Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number three. I haven't slept yet. We did the breach yesterday and we got a bunch of emblems. So if I speak to Mr. Emblem Trader right now and I put all my emblems in, I have so many. How much is Elite Void? 2.5 per piece. Okay, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if this stays or if you lose it. Oh wait, but they go lower and lower. So this is 1.5, this is only one. So I could actually go ahead and afford a full Elite Void range, for example. And now the goal for this episode is to just get to 111 combat bracket as fast as possible. And we're gonna do it through Slayer. So we can also get ourselves whips and all the cool stuff like that. Let's begin. Let's start the first Blood Veld. Yeah. We cannot say no to blood welts. By the way, I do believe my account is officially completely bugged. I'm yet to see a superior and I have killed over 2000 mobs that could drop me superior. Before I go ahead and I can actually afford to train range, I'm quickly alking all my stuff. So I have a little bit more money so I can buy a little bit more chins, but also I want to buy Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger and that seems to be quite expensive right now, I guess. I don't know how much it is. I mean, that's a really big stretch. I don't think there's any on the market, I'll be honest. So I guess I'll just leave it in for 101k. But we're okay on money, so I'm just gonna buy more chins and I guess I'll just use Sigil of Consistency instead of it then. Which isn't perfect, but it'll do the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and also attune Devotion. So I'm going to start getting some prayer XP and which sigils am I running right now? Consistency, this formidable fighter is kind of useless right now for us. I'll just attune guardian engine then because my bank's pretty big right now. Sigil of the serpent, that's like the worst one, I swear. It just cures venom. That's it. That's all it does. Oh, that's a disaster. We're, we're training range. We're going all the way to 55. There it is, 55 ranged. We can now use red chinchompas. Let's go back to milling. Finally, a really good supply drop. We got some, uh, well, a rune med helm and a lot of super restores, which is actually pretty solid. All the way up to 80 attack. And right now I'm just kind of juggling. I'm doing a little bit of attack, a little bit of defense, just to try to get to as close to 111 combat as possible. I do want to get up as fast as possible because I don't think many PKers will actually push to 111 combat. It's just not worth it for a PKer because there's not much to find there. Oh, Morrigan Javelin. <laughs> Loot, yoink. <laughs> That's a yoink right there. That's 20k. Okay, so it is 19 tasks in a row. I could theoretically pick one, but let's risk it. Necreal. Haha. <laughs> this changes my plans a lot. I think I will be questing Desert Treasure so I can go up a bracket. I expected to go to sleep, but instead we'll be doing quests. So since we're gonna be questing, we're gonna be unattuning the Sigil of Formidable Fighter and Feral Fighter. And we're gonna be attuning the Guardian Angel. So we have GA, Alchemaniac, Consistency. Let's get ready for questing. Forgot to record, but quickly bought an upgrade for my magic shortbow. And we're gonna buy a couple of runes and we're gonna get an assembler, I mean accumulator as well, very quickly. That was 10 Herbler, one of the prerequisites for Desert Treasure. There is 50 fire making, again, prerequisite for Desert Treasure. Okay, first thing, I wanna get a couple of devices. Because let's be honest, at some point we're gonna die. And I do believe most of the breaches I'm gonna be doing with range eventually, right? When I have a really good range setup. So having a few of these is gonna be helpful. And is what I'm thinking. There is five thieving. I can now steal cakes. All right, we did a little bit of skilling. Didn't quite finish off my 53 thieving just yet because I don't know what quest rewards I get. But we're gonna start it off with dig site. Hopefully no PKers. Okay, we got an ancient talisman. Nice. There it is, the first one out of the few. Dig site completed a ton of mining XP going from zero to 54 mining, which is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, let's get out to safety and figure out what our next quest is going to be. Next one on the list, Temple of Ikov, going from a sketchy quest to even sketchier one, where I basically cannot have any food with me. And this should be Temple of Ikov from 57 to 63 range, lots of XP. And we also get a little bit of fletching, which is what we need for the next part. Perfect. And that is 20 smithing. We can now complete the Taurus trap. All right, let's begin. Let's speak to Irina. Last quest before the desert treasure. And I do believe I can get thieving XP through this quest. I don't know how much, but that's probably what I'll go with. Usually I go with agility, but I think I will we'll, we'll experiment. I have no idea. Let's just uh, hopefully finish it without problems. All right, looks like the quest is about to be done. I'm just going to double check my desert treasure requirements. Looks like we just need thieving. So, and since that is one of the last quests I plan on doing, I mean, I will do the crystal shield and stuff like that later on, maybe, if I don't have DFS, but I most likely will have DFS. So let's go ahead and speak to Irena. And here we can actually decide what we want. And we wanted thieving, how much? Up to 49, this might actually be enough. 53, perfect. It's almost like we planned it. 
I feel like the hardest the hardest part of DT is just getting all the items. Now we have all the items, minus the lockpicks. Uh oh, okay, not that much. Fifty surely gonna be enough, right? There we go. Camille defeated. Oh, consistency is kind of nice here. I can't miss. There we go. After speaking to the troll mother and dad, we should be receiving our first diamond out of four. Arguably the hardest one to get. Make sure we teleport if there is a PK here. There is no PK here. There it is. Ice diamond. One out of four. Done. Beautiful. There we go. That guy is dead. Range is pretty easy and my range is super low. Only 64. So here's diamond number two. Blood diamond. Beautiful. Uh, the next one is going to be shadow one, I think. All right. I hope RNG is on my side. I have 50. Let's take a look. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. No. Nope. I think it's like one in 200 to get it, so yeah, let's get it, huge, pretty lucky there. There it is, diamond number three, and 65 range, okay, the last boss, there it is, and that's the last diamond, okay, and here it is, the last one, let's do the pyramid, finish the quest, we did it, no sleep, 99 strength, desert treasure quested, this is the most I've ever done without basically going offline. But there it is. Ability to be on Ancients. Probably most of the questing done for now. Okay, I am ready to do some Necreals. And I'm actually not going to be using the Guardian Relic. So if I get killed, I lose everything right now. Slayer Tower is super dangerous, however. I'm just not live right now. I'm kinda, I kind of feel risky. Uh, but I'm going to be training defense here and hopefully reach 1-1-1 one, one, one combat as fast as possible. And I really want to make even more money so I can buy even more chins. So when the bracket up happens, I can just throw all my chins in Monkey Madness 2 tunnel. That is the strategy. That is the plan. Oof, the food situation is rough. I still have 40 kills. This is a sketchy, sketchy task to melee. There it is, 79 defense. I hate being on so low food for so long. Combat is still 108. I'll definitely try to push combat up, up after the breaches. Ooh, what a task. Money is good. 100k here, probably 100k more, probably 20k more. That's pretty good. 109 combat almost, so getting up there. All right, we have a couple of points to spend, but we got black demons and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do those. It's pretty good. There is a big level 80 defense. We're gonna focus on attack right now because if I do end up bursting or whatever, I can train it with the defense. So just gonna focus on attack, maybe till like 90. Combat is 109, we're getting there. We got about an hour 30 to the breach. I'm exhausted, but I will try to stay up for it. Here's a supply drop. 12 strength pots, nine restores, pretty solid actually. One of the better ones. There it is, 83 attack, 110 combat. And now we need to start being a bit careful uh, because I don't wanna go to 111 just yet. I wanna make sure I go through the breach before I do that. That is 68, my combat is still okay. I think I can get two more levels, but just, just to be safe, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna already prepare for the breach and just start training agility. Once again, utilizing the sigil of the bloodhound to see if we maybe get like a good drop here. Let's see, 75% chance it's a casket. Yes, let's go. This is so cool, man. I love the fact that it's still a gamble. It's not guaranteed, but it's a 75% chance. So that's pretty good. Let's take a look. Maybe we get something insane. Yo. That is solid, by the way. That is very good. That is solid, man. Ooh. What I'm basically going to do is I will do the breach, go to sleep for seven hours and a half, wake up, do another breach. At least that's the plan, unless I fall asleep and I don't wake up, and then move up a combat bracket. So I'm going to intentionally delay my up. I could already be up. But as you can see, there's like three people in that world. So there is no way I can clear the breaches, breaches with three people. So because of that, I'm intentionally slowing myself down, not go up a bracket just yet, do two breaches, get good quality sleep in, and then go crazy in the higher bracket again. There it is, level 70 ranged, perfect. So I can now use the hides for defensives and I can still use void 
for aggressives when we're doing breaches. We are 10 minutes until breaches. I'm a little bit more ready this time around. I know what to expect. My sigils are still trash. Just gonna go with the Guardian Angel consistency and then Feral Fighter for some of the melee hits. I probably would be best if I had like a really good range gear is what I'm thinking for breaches. Really high le range level and then going with basic ranger and consistency or having trident and going mage with uh, two major relics basically i think those are probably your best bets dude deadman mode needed some fun activities like that actually dangerous but fun everyone typing in google yup snape grass not bad oh that's mine as well should probably get a drop from that yeah got a drop for that start up brood dwarf with very good i'm hitting big numbers this could be mine Another drop. Do I get an emblem? I do want to get more emblems. Didn't get it there. We got the room plate body and nine super combat potions. That's a good drop. War with the jelly. We get a few hits in that one. I'm gonna quickly bank. There's a lot of PKRs around. So we're gonna bank, restock, go again. Trip number one, 1 1.1 mil. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I'm gonna just eat one. Look how many people die, by the way. Oh, super combat and white berries. Not too bad. I got wines again. I'm not getting any tier 5s right now at all. Kriara is in, so I gotta be careful here. Prey range, keep my distance. I got some 550 Lawrence, it's not bad. I think it's only 2 minutes. I might be too late to come back, but let's see. Trip number 2, 1.5 million. I got like 600 refs in there as well. More anti-fires, very solid, honestly. Oh man, I was really hoping for an emblem though, because then I could buy a void melee helm and then I could do these trips always in full void. Ooh, that was fun. Didn't get any big drops though, which is a shame. I think because I'm melee based, it is so hard. Uh, last trip for 200k. Honestly, can't complain. I think our bank went turbo up again. And the best part is all these items I can just slow sell. Look, they don't even show up on my bank. Obviously with all my chains, onyx bolts and stuff like that. So pretty solid, honestly. Pretty happy with this. These are amazing. I'm gonna go to sleep now for seven hours and then I'll be ready for the next event. So I'll just fully prepare my inventory. Seven hours later. I managed to go to sleep and wake up and I had a beautiful sleep. Wish it was a bit longer. It's now 3 a.m. We got one minute till the breaches spawn. I have the high daughters here. Should be okay. Quickly go on Krill. Yeah, there's too many people right now. We need to go up a bracket. That is ridiculous. I can barely even loot. You received the drop shark. Lovely. Still 1.8 million, by the way. Lots of supply drops. So even if we didn't get a tier 5, we're doing good. That is it, fellas. That is it. That is all she wrote. Let's take a look. 350k more. Not too bad. Not too bad. A ruthless Ranger is so expensive. I'll pay 1 million for it. And I cannot buy it. And you can get it for free. I want to use it when I go chinning, but I can't use it. Like, it's ridiculous. How is your experience with Deadman mode so far? I think this is my favorite Deadman mode I have ever played. Oh, yes, there's no way. Guys, 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 I got a, I got an emblem. There is absolutely no way we got a tier 5. I need it. I can now afford probably Void Melee Helm first and then Void Mage Helm lastly. With this hit, ladies and gentlemen, we are now combat level 111. That means we can now prepare and go to the last world. But first, I need to make sure I have everything ready so we can go with one hour of chinning, get our range up, all the good stuff. I'm excited. Let's see how it goes. There's a person in the chat called Hodex that said that I should speak to a defense cave guy to get superior drops. So let's take a look. We're a little bit late, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try it. Melee combat tutor, here we go. Do I have any quests or lamps to collect? No. See, I, I, I'm good. I've done everything. I can open my bank three times. Let's be very smart with this. Okay, this is a bit scuffed. Why don't they just let you bank as much as possible? That is a bit random, not gonna lie. I'm gonna do 300 chins at a time. All right, we can now swap worlds and now we need to be fast. So one, 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 switch. What do we got here? Uh, Dragon Slayer or Secrets of the North? We're gonna finish Dragon Slayer. There we go. So this is how we're gonna do this. It's gonna be ridiculous XP. But we are gonna be a bit smarter with it. And I hope I get the precision relic or any of the good relics because we're in the higher world right now. So we could get something crazy. 73 range already. It's going pretty well here. Getting like what? 7 mil XP an hour. Oh, cooked Karambuan. Oh, hold up. Cooked Karambuan and defense. First supply drop from monkeys. I know this is not the best spot, but I don't want to go deeper in the cave. Yes, emblem. Only tier 1 though. So this guy is no longer drop tier 5, but we got sharks as well. Not bad. We have used about 400 chins so far and we are already 80 range. That's crazy actually. It's super late. Okay, we're whispering now. Rune scimitar. Super defense. ASMR stream. 
sigil of the menacing mage. I actually think I can sell this for something, right? I think that's a standard one, but I think it sells for a bit. Not bad, not bad. We take those. Sigil of titanium. This is so OP, by the way. Oh my, there it is. Sigil of fucking titanium, bro. I think this reduces damage taken by like, I kid you not, 60% or something crazy from like all mobs or something. And we can now get the rarest possible sigils because we're on the last bracket. That's crazy, man. Okay, my protection is about to run out. We just got a supply drop of Karamb ones and Steam Rune, yoink. And looks like we went from 70 to 92 range in one hour. And look at this, about to run out of chins as well. Yes, Void Melee Helm. Boom, let's get it, huge. We're now gonna be slaying, looking like an absolute machine. One thing I didn't even mention, by the way, in that one hour of chinning, 68 to 78 prayer, all from devotion. Apparently, according to Mang, I have the most horrible RNG in the game, but shout out to Mang, he actually reached out to me on Discord, so I appreciate that. Wait, I didn't record. I canceled Steel Dragons, got Hellhounds. Hellhounds are insanely good tasks, so, we will absolutely enjoy this one. Yes, casket instantly, let's get it. Okay, I think this is my third casket, this deadman mode. <gasps> Kurva match, what did I just get? Sara Dehyde top, dragon boots, ornament kit, rune plate body G. Bro, we got everything, we got everything, man, holy. Drinker of the undead, please be insane. Fuck, it went into my Narnia. Okay, let me let me pull it out. I'll use the, the worst version anyways, it's fine. That's huge. First, like, trinket drop of the account. Nice. The drop that we got, I kid you not, 1.5 million. I am not joking. Uh, I'm gonna stick with devotion for now, so I'm gonna get rid of consistency, I think. Okay, first testing of the thralls. Look at them go. Bro, it's hitting six. Five. I love him. Look at him. Eight. He's going crazy. I can insta summon it, by the way. It's insta. It's non-stop eights extras. Sit back and, back and relax. I don't even know what the fuck I did. Bro, look. I can just keep summoning them. Sigil of the augmented thrall. We just got it, bro. I think it was still like 350k. We take those. We take those. Everybody hold your breath. Is it an easy clue scroll? Let's take a look. Search the bookcase, first floor, sorcerer's tower. That's an easy one. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, we got Sigil of the Bloodhound. Good luck us. Please one, one click casket. Yes, another one. That's what, four in a row. Beautiful. Let's see if we get anything crazy from this hard clue scroll. Um, we, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh. Uh. Content scroll. We got it. Let's see if it's easy to do. Grand 3, that's such an easy one, by the way. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, let's get it. Mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm, we got some seeds. I mean, it's still, what, like 200k for three seconds of my time? Hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. 2.2k prayer XP per kill. That's a lot of XP. This might be solid task. You cannot make this shit up. We got dragon knives. 144 of them. This is amazing for bank fights. 5k each. You're telling me this is a 600k drop that I just got. 8k each. That is crazy. Okay, prayer got up to 80. Combat got up to 114. And this task is printing us money and XP. Pretty good. There's a big level 84 slayer. One more and we can go for those whips. I'm ready. Sigil of the Thrall sold for 296k. Beautiful. And then if I buy one dragon knife... One dragon knife for, I don't know, 15k. We bought it for 14,729. So we can sell for 14,728. You're telling me this is that much money? We will try to sell it for that. It might be a, it might be a stretch, but we'll see. Okay, there it is. Big level 90 on the attack. And now we have a small dilemma. Whether I go for a 99 attack or I start training a little bit of defense. Uh, I'm already 115 combat. Another thing that I would recommend if you guys are starting Deadman mode a bit late, please use Devotion when you're doing tasks that drop like ashes and bones. I really regret not using this early enough. Look, I'm already 81 prayer and I'm not even... It, it's like zero effort, basically. It's really good, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna stick to attack for a bit longer. Oh. There it is. Sigil of Devotion. Not bad. I don't know how much this one is, but I personally vouch for this, man. It gets you basically 99 prayer doing nothing. I wonder how much this one sells for, but this is not a bad one. I think it would be stupid if you're high combat bracket, if you PK at the bridge. 
I genuinely think it's stupid. Sure, you can kill someone, right? Because you can, like, freeze someone and Kriara is on them and whatever. But I think you make more money if you work together and you actually kill the bosses. When it's this little amount of people. A kill, you'll get a dragon scimitar and, like, a few things, right? Especially if, if I'm using GA, which I will. But I think if everybody works together, like the 20 people that will show up, they can all make ridiculous amount of money from it, way more than PKing would. Oh, there it was, did you guys see it? 85 Slayer. That means we can now go ahead and hunt for whips. But I will still chill and finish this task. This task is pretty decent. I'm also gonna finish an attack level here, so both Slayer and attack. There it is, so that's 91 attack, and I have decided I will start training defense, probably to like 90. So yeah, finish off the task, try to see if I can buy a whip, if my stuff sells, and then go hunting for whips ourselves, and as soon as we're 87, we're then going for trident, so looking forward to it, should be fun. I've killed 121 worms, no superior. I've killed necreals 110 times, I've killed bloodvelt 780 times, no superior. Gargoyles... Uh, 170, no superior, Kurask 150, no superior, Abby Specs 150, no superior, there's probably more that I don't see here, uh, but basically chance is 1 in 200, so even if you just collect these and there's probably more that I'm missing, the chances is like super insane, right, because that's already a 1800 or 1600 mobs, yeah, it's just unlucky man. Boys, tier 5 emblem, I think that completes my, that completes my void set, let's go, that's huge, I already bought the ranger helm, I already bought the melee helm, and lastly, mage helm, so now we have a full void completed, if you guys are wondering how it works when you die, you basically just need to pay coins and repair it, unless it is over 20 wilderness, alright, we finally reached the point in deadman mode where we can farm some whips and hopefully not die, so let's go ahead and pick abyssal demons, boys, boys, Pay attention to the chat, Trinket of the Fairies. But for only 350k, which I think is phenomenal price for the fact that you can teleport just about everywhere in the game for, when we thought it was safe, it wasn't safe. Brother man, you're looking scary. You're looking menacing, my guy. <clears throat> Let's have a nice little conversation. <laughs> ah... It appears we got tricked. I got nine brews to my name. Talk to me, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna be on the lookout for that guy. That guy's a demon. I am sure this is not our last time seeing his name. We got ourselves the first whip. I don't need to bank it, I will use it. Keep training defense. Uh, but there it is, very good. Still yet to see a superior, by the way. Great, Rapisal Demon! <gasps> Mangd fixed my account, let's go. He actually did it. 2,000 mobs! They exist. Mengt cooked it up. I guarantee you he, he he blessed us out. Like, there is no way. Oh, my first, first superior of the account. I do not believe it, bro. I genuinely thought my account was bugged. Watch the, imagine the PKR flying in right now. There we go. Another whip. And the sigil of the fortune farmer. You cannot make this shit up, bro. Let me get out of here real quick, boys. There is no way, bro. There is... Dude, this tournament... Let me tell you, bro, we are absolutely chilling. And look at this one as well. We just made like a 4 million in one drop, I kid you not. Newly dropped clue scrolls are stackable, that's fine. And then Abyssal Whip for a 2 miller. Uh, I don't think I will sell it, I'll just put it in the deposit box for now. Ain't no way, brother man. Ain't no way we got a third one. Ain't no way we got a third one, man. Yo, let me get out of here real quick. There is no shot, bro, we're milking it. Oh my goodness, we're rich. So the whip drop rate is 1 in 128 in that mode, and we got 3 in 55 KC so far. So safe to say, we might be a little bit lucky. There we go, moving all the way up to 86 Slayer, just one more level to go, and we can start hunting for the Tridents. And um, it is currently an hour and 35 minutes until the next breach. Our prayer level is also 85. Oh, everybody stay calm. It is a greater abyssal demon. Here we go. Could this be another one? The second superior, they exist. I wonder if they did something and actually fixed my character or if I was just so unlucky for the whole of Deadman mode. I guess that's the answer I will never have. We get combat potions with Torstals. Chaos rune, uh, so not the best this time around, but still pretty good. There it is, task is done, Mithril Kite Shield, teleport out, beautiful, we're gonna go ahead, how many points do we have? Nice amount of points, we're gonna take another Abyssal Demon task, this one was 
honestly perfect. Three whips is insane. I think I will sell one whip, however, and afford a black mask. I think uh, this would be better, so we're gonna buy a black mask and hopefully like a tankier piece of, of armor, so we're gonna be banking the void for a bit. A whip for, I believe it's two miller right now. Yeah, just 1980 off the bat. Uh, let's buy black mask for insta price. There we go, we got it for 1.3, that's pretty good. So now we're running around like this, like an absolute demon. Why do I have this random ass looking crossbow in my inventory? Yeah, it's the question I get all the time. So how do you escape from PKers? You need to think, right? There's many options. One option is you bring PK gear, you freeze, run around the corner and teleport. Okay, so one is, right, you bring PvP set yourself. So that's four inventory slots, maybe more, right? You switch, you freeze. It's usually pretty hard to do because a good PKer will always utilize the walls, freeze you, go or, or step under you, right? So that one's usually quite hard, especially if you don't have like a really good mage bonus, right? Or really good magic defense bonus, whatever you name it. So the second option is by utilizing the stairs, kiting on the stairs and then getting a teleport off. However, that becomes impossible as soon as there's two people on you because one can stand above, one can stand below and they can hit you and there's nothing you can do about it. However, there is something you can do about it. You can have a crossbow. As soon as they hit you, you wait. Yeah, you turn out to retaliate off and you wait. You then hit them back and then you start kiting the stairs. If you do that, you start like immunity, okay? You start like an immunity where the other player now can't hit you. So now you have like a solid seven, I don't know, eight, I don't know how many seconds to where you can kite the stairs and get a teleport off. And if you don't have a bow, you can never force an immunity for yourself and they can just one bolt you on the top, you go down the stairs, the other guy bolts you and you can't escape. So always have a crossbow on you. He's putting the escape in a runescape, dude. At, you have to be ready, man. It's Deadman mode, okay? You can get killed everywhere. So always have your escape planned out. <laughs> there it is, big level 86 prayer. Uh, we're up to 87 defense, almost 88. We're looking beefy. 108 in combat, the breach is in 50 minutes. Haha, <laughs> yes. Yes, boys, get in. Oh, just like that. Right as I wanted to bank as well. It's absolutely wonderful. Whip number four. Demons killed 150 at the moment. We got another one. We got another one and we have 20 left on the task. So we're gonna actually stay here because the breach is in 18 minutes. So I wanna make sure I kill this. And then I'm ready for a breach. That's huge though, that's a huge drop. Almost 90 defense already, which is really sick. 92 range, solid. 82 magic, not the best, but this will start getting up very fast once we start doing Kraken. So I'm expecting this to be 94 very soon as well. So let's just get fully ready for a breach. We got about 10 minutes right now. Okay, let's go with a melee hard here. I have titanium on, so we should be okay. Already got some cooked cramp wins. Hit the Rex here, big hits. Oh, this is so much cooler with less people. Look how cool this is with like no no players interrupting. Somebody didn't make it here. Bro, come to the higher combat bracket, they said. It will be fun, they said. Just looting absolutely everything on the server. Super combat, ref runes, these are mine, I think. Come on, this I have to be MVP for this malevolent mage. I have to be. And this dark beast. There it is, see, MVP, instant emblem. Let's go, huge. Hit that guy, maybe I get MVP on this as well. I should have really came with a whip, man. Even more loot. Oh my. How much time do we have? That's halfway done. I think we quickly bank, we come again. We got first emblem and 1.7 million of the first one. Surprise, there's no PKers. It's hard to PK here whilst getting hit by all the mobs. And the server wants to work together. There's only like 20 players that can do this content. Giant goblin. I could be MVP for this one. Yes, I knew it. There's another emblem. Let's go. Big hits. Let's try to hit this Jalk Nod guy. Or this, actually, Pyre Lord. Just want to get more MVPs for more emblems. I could also flick a bit, so I loot. Oh, Thrall. There we go. Brew it up. To restore this. I think we did good damage again, by the way. Yeah, we did, we did. Nice, super combat bots. I'm gonna try to stick to Night Beast here. See if I can squeeze in an MVP. Not a lot of people are down here on this side. Yeah, I knew it, see? I knew it, another emblem. So all we want, you see this mage right here? We just wanna hit what people aren't hitting. See, another tier five. That's how it works. You get an MVP, you get a tier five. Everybody's skedaddling away. 
and so will we. Ooh, what a phenomenal breach, boys. What a phenomenal breach. What did we get? 1.7 million again. Three emblems. Absolutely relaxation right now. This was sick. Massive loot, man. Let's get it. Let me tell you, confirmed. Relic of the Titanium is my new favorite, man. All right, let's take a look. So we're going to be doing Kraken next. So if I speak to this guy, I can now sell all my emblems. And we now have 6 million. We're going to be buying a rune pouch note. I will be the first person to use Sigil of Resilience, which gives you 10 times faster health restoration. L let's see. So Menacing Mage, Resilience and Augmented Thrall. So we're going to have max supplies if somebody hits me. A part of me does not even want to go in Void. I just want to go in Tank Gear. But I guess I could go in Void as well. And we go for... 